welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a cleaning routine while pregnant let's go ahead and get started so first i'm going to be starting off by spraying the bed and the pillows with a spray that i made um, and this basically is just to kind of keep everything smelling nice so i did go ahead and put the pillowcases as well as the sheets in the washer so while those wash this is what i'm doing next i'm just going to be making up the bed with clean sheets um, and this usually takes me about five to eight minutes. Honestly, this is the main thing that kind of really gets me out of breath because it does take a lot to make the bed now um, that, you know, my lungs are being crushed by a child, but that's okay. So with that same spray, I also sprayed our decorative pillows and now I'm kind of just gathering any drinks or anything that kind of doesn't belong in the room and that's about it. So next we're going to move on to this messy living room. As y'all can see, there's blankets and all kind of stuff everywhere. So I'm just going to go ahead and start off by opening up the blinds just to bring some light into the room and then I'll go ahead and start cleaning. For some reason there was a straw right there <laughs> but I went ahead and threw that away and then I came back and just started folding all the blankets that we've used the previous night and just placing them into the ottoman so here I am doing that At this point in the video, I am exactly six months. Um, I was exactly 24 weeks that day. So 
So after I finish folding up the blankets, I'm just going to throw all of the pillows onto the floor and I'm going to grab my leather cleaning spray. You can use this in your car. This can be also used for furniture. So we use this to basically clean off our ottoman and our couch and I like to use it with paper towels. So I'm just going in, um, wiping down everything as best as I can, getting all the crumbs and everything off of the ottoman and making sure the couch looks all nice and shiny. So after that, um, y'all can see me attempting to kind of fluff out the pillows. Um, they get a little flat because we lay on them all the time, which I'm trying to get out of the habit of doing, but honestly, it's kind of hard. Um, so here I'm just placing the pillows where I would like for them to be. And um, yeah, just kind of setting up the couch in the living room, how it's supposed to be staged. I should have zoomed in a little more on this part, um, but really I'm just fixing our photo frame that has our little ultrasound pictures on it. Um, and that's pretty much it for the living room. So while I'm cleaning or when I finish cleaning, I really do like to light a candle. It kind of just, you know, sets the mood. Um, also, my fiance bought some flowers for me that day. So I did get those put into a vase later on that day. But at the moment, I didn't have one. So, yeah. So now I'm working my way into the kitchen. So here you see me opening the blinds that are in the kitchen and kind of just a little bit of what we have to do. Um, not too much, but this trash definitely needs to be taken out. So, you know, getting all the old food or trash or anything from off the countertops. And then I'm going to start by unloading the dishwasher.
after unloading the dishwasher i go ahead and spray the counters with clean freak by mr clean which i also used i believe in one of my previous videos and i'm just going to wipe down the countertops as well as the stove and all of that good stuff um i really do like this spray because it kind of smells like the washing detergent it smells really good and y'all know right now i'm all about smells because <laughs> i can't smell everything so i just like to make sure that the kitchen and everything smells fresh yeah i knocked over the whole utensil holder so that was that face So just a tip for cleaning your stove. Um, I also do kind of wipe inside of the stove a little bit just because kind of when you bake, sometimes things splash and you'll notice like on your glass that you'll have like dried food in there. So I kind of try to get in there a little bit and also wipe where the knobs are because um, grease and things like that pop. So off camera, I did go ahead and clear off the rest of my counter um, as far as all that bread and everything that was over there. And now I'm just kind of getting things out of the refrigerator. So my fiance likes to leave cups of juice in the refrigerator and it's kind of like a thing. So I'm just taking that out. Um, also throwing any leftovers away that are in there and kind of just reorganizing the refrigerator to make it look nicer. And I took those chicken strips out because that's actually what I made for dinner that night. So now on to washing clothes. So here I um, found some baby socks on the floor from a load that I had washed the previous night. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and put my comforter in the dryer with my pillowcases and then um, go ahead and wash the sheets that we had on the bed before. So that's what y'all see me doing here. I did later on do all of my other laundry as well, um, but I don't think I got that part on camera. So with washing, um, if you do not use a liquid fabric softener, I honestly highly suggest it. I use the Suavretail. I'm honestly not too sure how to say that. So if I said that wrong, please correct me. Um, but I use that and it kind of really does make your sheets and your um, clothes a lot softer. I love to use it on my towels because it really does help with the smell. And yeah, just starting that load. And now I'm going to go ahead and start working on the guest bath. So um, really the main thing thing here was to just clean out the sink and get everything all wiped down and then empty that trash can because it was ridiculously full. And the sponge that y'all see me using here is only specifically used for the bathroom. I don't use it for anything else but this bathroom. Now on to our master bath. As y'all can see, our counter is a hot mess. So um, first, I'm just going to take everything off of the counter to just go ahead and get everything cleaned and wiped down. And then I will start organizing things later on. Um, all of my candles do go under the cabinet because i used to have so many um but now i've burned them all literally to the metal so i have to go shopping for those <laughs> um so just clearing the countertop so i can go ahead and wipe the counters with that exact same spray that i just used for the kitchen and then um yeah so after that i'll be doing the toilet and y'all will see that Thank you. 
So here, after wiping the counter, these are the things that we use um, on a daily. So all those vitamins there, I like to keep them on the counter because if I don't, then I will forget to take them. Um, as well as our mouthwash, which we use pretty much every day. And then my face wash and our lotions. So this is just our little toothbrush caddy. And I'm just wiping that down. And I'm going to go ahead and um, start cleaning the toilet. So what y'all see me using is the Clorox um, and that's a toilet cleaner that you basically just put in the rim of the bowl and let it sit for about 15 minutes and then I actually use that same Mr. Clean spray and spray it underneath the toilet seat um, over the rim of the toilet the toilet seat and the top um, and then I also wipe around the sides and the bottom. Oh, here we have another ridiculously full trash can. So just going ahead and taking that out with the rest of the trash in there. So here is the aftermath of dinner for today and my husband decided to clean the kitchen. So that's honestly the end of my cleaning routine. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.